Hi, my name is Zach Palmquist. I'm the Director of Engineering with Safe and Sound Security. Pleasure to meet you guys. Why should I use cloud-based surveillance systems? And how is it different from traditional CCTV systems? A um, little bit of a loaded question, right? Um, I say the two biggest perks of cloud-based ac uh, access control cameras, whatever kind of cloud-based system you're using, number one is always network security. Traditional systems, you either have to be on-prem, local, you know, logging into the systems. When you have a cloud-based system, you could literally be sitting on a beach in Mexico, get onto your phone, your laptop, whatever it may be, you know, deny access, go through all the video footage, whatever it may be but in order to do that with a traditional system an on-prem system you would have to do port forwarding rules through your router okay your firewall me as a network engineer that's a number one no-no you don't ever want to do that in somebody's network okay I can come to your facility and say oh you have this type of camera I know what ports those cameras use the generalized ones are out of the box and, and that's just a, a way into the network, right? If you know which port number it is that's forwarded through the firewall, you can get in there super easy. Um, with cloud-based systems, you don't have to do that, right? You actually have the end device, on-prem device. You, the end user, you never make a direct connection to that device. device. It's, it's up in the cloud. This device makes a connection to the cloud. You, as the end user, make a connection to the cloud. You don't have to break through the firewall to do it. Once we plug in that device, it knows the phone home. Everything is happening up here in the cloud. So, you know, just to kind of reiterate, network security is definitely the number one reason for a cloud-based system. Um, number two is multi-site integration, right? When you connect any cloud device up to the cloud, it doesn't matter if you have a facility in California, a facility in New York, a facility in China, wherever it is, once they communicate with the cloud, they become one system. Okay, they all communicate up here so you can get from site to site all in one pane of glass, one easy infrastructure. What's the difference between a bridge and a CMVR? And how do I know which is best for me? They both do a bit of the same things. Um, a bridge is more based on making a bridge connection to the cloud, okay? The bridge doesn't typically have a big amount of storage on it. It's usually a smaller device that doesn't have any localized storage, whether it be hard drive or flash storage. It is basically just a link from the cameras up to the cloud. Whereas CMBR, it's abbreviated a cloud managed video recorder, right? It actually is a bigger device, usually an appliance or a server based, and it has a lot of storage built into it. So it's actually storing the footage on site, not having to shoot it up to the cloud where all the storage happens on a bridge. Tell me about some of the benefits cloud-based video analytics can offer. Yeah, I mean, it's not so much just cloud-based systems that can do that, but when you talk about searching for analytic events across multiple sites, for instance, you have a school district, okay? Um, you have one bad apple kid, right, that's causing problems, or even a staff member, for instance, right? What you can do now with the analytics on these cloud-based systems makes it a multi-site analytic, meaning you can set up, you can find that person on some playback footage, set them up as a person of interest, and you can set them up as a person of interest across all of your sites as one whole, okay? So now if that person walks onto the site, the first camera that sees that person's face, it's automatically gonna trigger an alert for you or you know whatever, whatever staff members you have set up to get that alert, and it does it across all sites instead of just one by one by one. What are cloud-based surveillance apps capable of? And what are some of the practical applications? Oof, I mean, it kind of, cloud-based surveillance apps give you the power at your fingertips, right? I mean, you don't have to sit down. You can, everybody does everything on the go now, right? The applications for the cloud-based systems are so, they're just so deep integrated now, right? You can do everything that you can do from your computer on the mobile applications now. You can set up person of interest. You can share video clips, live view, playback footage. If it's an access control system, you can add users, delete users, suspend, full lockdown scenarios, right? You can do pretty much everything from your fingertips now. Can CCTV cloud storage get hacked? What barriers are put in place to prevent that? So the majority of the big dogs, the big players in the game when it comes to, to, to cloud-based surveillance systems, most of them use AWS, which is Amazon Web Services. I'm sure everybody's heard of AWS. They're the biggest bank of servers in the world, right? They have server banks everywhere. And a lot of people rent their, one, their processing power from their servers, two, their storage capabilities. Um, Amazon has tons and tons of security on their on their systems, right? So the chances of your individual footage getting getting hacked in an AWS environment, highly unlikely. 
If you'd like to learn more about cloud-based security systems, whether it be cameras, access control, feel free to reach out to us and we can uh, get together and discuss your project personally.